Good evening, my world of rogues. My name is Erin Rogoff, and I would like to welcome you all back to my booktube channel. So, I have been working out and watching Survivor all day, and I decided I should do some reshelving of my bookshelves. And with my bookish hoard, I've been thinking of putting all these books into different categories. So, all of the same height, all of the same genre, all of the same author, all of the same color. Or did I say that already? Either way, I have been thinking about an LGBTQIA plus bookshelf to put in my closet. The funny thing is, the books will be coming out of the closet when I read them. Do you get it? Or is that just a really bad joke that I should never repeat again? That's probably something my brother would tell me. Never joke about that. Anyway, with all the books I am about to list that are young adult LGBTQIA plus fiction, I am announcing the subgenres along with the titles, okay? Let's begin with A Place for Wolves by Kosoko Jackson. That is a historical fiction LGBTQ book. And there's Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allier Sainz, and that is Contemporary Romance. T Keep This to Yourself by Tom Ryan is a mystery thriller sort of novel, and I'm very intrigued by that. And then Like a Love Story by Abdi Nazemian, which is a historical fiction contemporary romance novel. Something Like Gravity by Amber Smith is contemporary romance, and it's supposedly a quick read, so I am looking forward to reading that, too. And then there's The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta, which is a paranormal fantasy sort of novel. And The Witches, These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling, which is another paranormal fantasy novel. And as I list these books and think about them, I really wonder if the library in my hometown has these books, so I will definitely be looking at that the next moment that I have time to go over to the library. And then we have We Are Okay by Nina La Cower, and that is another straight-up contemporary romance novel. And for my final note is When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie Le McLemore. Forgive me for pronouncing her name wrong. Anyway, that is a fantasy, magical realism sort of book, so I'm already into it, and I can't wait to read these. If you have any more suggestions, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button to show some support. Subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this, and have a great day everyone, and let's carpe diem tomorrow, my rogue army.